Roseanne, we've known each other for three decades. Yes, a long time. And you have been a professional counselor. As you have been a professional counselor, how many people have we known in Hong Kong? Yes, quite a lot. So many different people. And so many changes. And that's why we want to think about women, women now mm -hmm. and women then, and how women have changed over these years. Mm, that must be very interesting. Yes. And it covered different generations. Always. Mm. Mm. Well, if they're interested in what we are talking about, how are they going to find us? They're going to find us Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, Psycho Alchemy. We are women now and then. See you there. Dorothy, we talk about today's women and the job market. Mm. And actually, today's women are many different kinds of women. Yep and many different role models. Mm -hmm. So just what do I mean by kinds of women? We have single women. Yeah. We have women who are in, in love with being in love. <laughs> okay, and so love is a high priority. <laughs> yes. We have moms who are burdened down with motherhood, mm -mm. home management, mm. being a wife and working. Yeah. We have women who are excelling mm. in the years of 45 to 60 mm. when children are grown mm. their own or others those women seem to be really taking off career-wise yes. and then we still have in the job market women in their 50s and 60s mm -hmm. because Hong Kong doesn't look down upon women mm. so much as in more developed countries mm. in US North America mm -hmm. if you're 60 you have to retire mm. not, not, here in, in Hong. not here in Hong Kong yes. you can keep going but then we have women in their 70s mm. and also still working some mm. now that's a lot of different age groups mm. and a lot of different job training mm. because the women who were in their 50s and 60s they saw that they could work mm. but they might not have thought that they have a career mm. whereas our girls mm. and i say girls happily <laughs> our 30 year olds mm. they know they have careers yes, yes. some of them are actually mm. well, let's just talk about this mm. some of our 30 year olds don't want to get married <laughs> And they certainly don't want to have children mm. because they have seen their mothers yeah. and their aunties mm. being held back uh, yes. Get from stuck. <laughs> expressing themselves. Now, mm. expressing yourself could mean I want to make money mm -hmm. or it could mean I really want a professional job. Yes. I want to feel what it feels like yeah. to have a professional yeah. job. Yeah. Um, so our 30s mm. are very career aware mm, mm. now between 30 and 40 very interesting things mm, happen mm. because some women want to have a baby mm. okay they hear that <laughs> the time has come mm. but they no longer feel not all of them feel they have to get married mm, mm. so some of our 30 year olds mm. are marrying men who already have children mm -hmm. So they have children part of the time. Mm. Some of our 30 year olds are adopting mm. children because they don't want pregnancy, <laughs> but they want a child. Mm. And some are actually very anxiously trying to get pregnant. Mm. That's a special group mm. too. Yes. So we have, again, the stage mm. in life mm -hmm. where you're trying to do the motherhood thing. Mm -hmm. It's not all the same. Mm. Our mothers and our grandmothers, you got married mm. and you had children or you had children yeah. and you had to take care of them. <laughs> that was your job. Simple formula. <laughs> now it's not a simple mm. formula. Mm. So then we have women in their 40s mm. who are seeing, hmm, the extended lifespan mm. dawns on them mm. that you put together the amount of money you have when you're 40 mm. and you think 20 years you're going to make enough money mm. to stop working, dream mm. on, sweetheart. <laughs> dream on. You yeah. will not have enough money. Mm. Mm. So that's when I see the women coming back and saying, Roseanne, I'm 40, I'm mm. 43, I'm mm. 45. Should I be doing another training program? Mm. Or go for an MBA program. Or or go for an <laughs> MBA. Mm. And sometimes it's a little bit mm. MBA and I don't know whether I should stay with this guy or mm. not. <laughs> now, thinking about marriage is not a bad thing mm -hmm. because she married when she was 21, 25, mm. 27. Mm. She had the child she wants or she's tried out marriage. Mm. And she thinks, I'm 
45. Mm. I'm going to live until I'm 85. <laughs> do I want to spend the rest of my life with this man? Mm. And I go, okay, well, what do you want? Yes. Gloria, yes. honey, what do, do you, you want? want? Mm -hmm. She goes, I really don't know. Mm. And that's the dilemma of many of our women because mm. we have so many choices mm. and so many work role models. Mm. And we know we need money, but what's the best guess mm. at how to use our resources? Yeah. What's the best guess? Oh, it's hard. Yeah. And it's also, hard. when you talk about women in the 40s um, decided whether to go for a man to support or maybe a lifelong partner or pursue the career. I, my, in my case, in my counseling, I see more and more women go for the career. Oh, yeah, I, I yeah. do. I think it's not because men are not reliable. It's just that to them, it seems if you put in that much of effort in your work, you will get a certain amount of result. Because yes. the business world to them is a little bit more fair. <laughs> you know, if you're willing to put in your time and you uh, deliver what your boss asks you, you can more or less get your a uh, very good pay at the same time advancement but the, from what I heard the women told me sometimes they put in so much effort in the relationship and it's just one day the man would just come up well I finally f figure out I'm not the marrying type so if mm -hmm. you want to stay on you stay but if you are expecting me to marry you in one or ye two years time well it won't happen yeah. and that is quite disappointing oh, I, had a, I had a new case uh, last week this woman actually she's quite bright brilliant woman and her last relationship was not good so she had stopped having seeing men for almost two years and la last year she met this man she felt she's pretty good he's pretty good and and she really want to settle down on a relationship and somehow the relationship turned up quite smooth mm -hmm. and last week she came to see me and said Dorothy I need to see you urgently I said why, why? I might need a marriage counseling I said huh S that soon, you know, that's my, resp my yes. response. I think you are with that guy for less than six months, right? And then, eh, why don't I come to see you first and tell you what's going on? And then this woman told me, um, the guy and hi her, they are both going dating, and that relationship mm -hmm. was quite okay. And s because the man's mother had uh, had cancer before, but relapsed. Ooh. And this man was quite a, uh, I think he's quite, uh, how to say, how son, it's like a good son. And he know mm -hmm. that his mom really worried about his future. So he said, since we are, quite, uh, we are doing quite well in our relationship, why don't we get married? Oh. Uh, okay. So I, I can see that this woman, deep in her heart, she's happy. Because yes. that's what she wants. Yes. But at the same time, her mind told her, well, is it? a little bit too hasty. Oh. Especially is mainly because the man's mother had this cancer issue. Yes. And and she just don't feel right. And so interesting. She said, why don't we have marriage, pre-marriage oh, counseling? Yeah. And I, well, I said, why don't you tell me your story first? Because the last time I saw her, she just start, had start yeah, having this relationship. Yeah, yeah. So I can't, it's less than six months. I'm oh. a little bit worried. So she told me everything, and then she told me about her concern, and I can. And she even told me one thing that really surprised me, because this man is quite artistic, and he had his own studio apartment. Mm. So he do his painting and do his his home thing, mm -hmm. right? And then, well, the man said to her, "Even though we are going to get married, can I keep my studio? Mm -hmm. Well, even we are going to get married, but well, you know." I want to tell you, um, even though you might be, you are going to be my wife, I don't think you can have control on my paintings. So it's, I hear prenup kind of thing, right? Yes. I don't feel comfortable. So she began to tell me a little bit more about the mm -hmm. terms and condition. So and at that moment, I asked this lovely lady, I really can tell she really want to get married. And I said, you know, you sure you want the couple mm -hmm. to see me next week? I'm not sure what I'm going to say is going to encourage yes. <laughs> or discourage this marriage. And she said, why, why did you say that? You know, 
I don't feel very comfortable. Yeah, feelings I, are real. Yeah, feelings are real. Because I can feel your urgency. Yes. But I s- can feel his hesitation too. Ooh. Right? He's doing it mainly for his mother, not because of you. I don't feel good. And I would yeah. tell you one thing I usually do is when I am so uncomfortable, I'll ask myself if who I'm seeing in front of me is not a client, it's my siblings, it's my sister. Yes. What would I say? Ah. That's what I will always ask myself. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. I have to be honest with you. If you are my sister, I will tell you, look, can you wait? Yes. Yeah. That's what I would say. Always good. Wait. Right. And because this woman works in a bank, so she can get very l- is it low interest, uh, how say it, long Loans, mortgage. Yes, and she's quite quite doing quite well. So I can see that by marrying her, the man has nothing to lose in exactly. a sense. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> a lot to gain, and he yes. even keep his studio apartment right? right, and all his all his work belongs to him. So I was thinking, I look at this woman. And she's doing so well in her banking mm-hmm. business. I said, "Well, why don't you think mm-hmm. a little bit more, right?" And she was thinking, "Oh, I'm in this age. If I get married and I yes. want a child, a baby, yes. it's go- it's going to be late." And I said, "The man knows your age, right at the beginning, right?" And she said, "I don't know. I just I don't want to oh, lose this yeah. opportunity." Yes. So it's like what you said. Career-wise, she's doing so well. Yes. But right at this time of her life, she want to have a marriage. Mm-hmm. She want to have a baby. Mm-hmm. And this is the time when I say, ah, s- a lot. I see a lot of smart women make very foolish choice. Oh this my! This biological clock, mm-hmm. and this really want to belong to someone. Yes. This whole urge of having a family. I don't know. I can. I can. I can. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what is right, what is wrong. So, what would you suggest if she is your client? Mm. <laughs> that it's so difficult for women mm. to say mm. how much they want to have a child. Mm. It's truly a biological mm. urge. Mm. So, I pose the issue: What if you become pregnant but don't get married? <laughs> okay, okay. Because. Mm, 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 all of the options, including the bank loan and the mm-hmm. mortgages mm-hmm. and taking care. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, but again, you know, it's it's like Gloria. You have several issues: your relationship with the man, mm-hmm. the man's relationship with his mother, mm-hmm. the man's relationship with his studio. Mm-hmm. You want to have a baby. Mm. How does he feel about you having a baby? Yeah. What will that do about taking care of the mother if you have a baby? Mm. How will your life be? Can we look three years from now? Mm. Mm. You have a baby, mm-hmm. and then what? Mm. <laughs> and in all of this, when the woman is in that state of mind, mm-hmm. it's very difficult for <laughs> her to look at her career. No way. <laughs> because our culture says motherhood, relationships, yep. care. Override everything. Override <laughs> everything. <laughs> so... It's it's no wonder that we have difficulty. Mm. As well as women like your your client, mm-hmm. we have so many women in their 30s and 40s now in Hong Kong mm-hmm. who chose not to get married. Mm. Well, what is their family? Mm. Sometimes they form work, mm. peers, friendship group. They mm. don't call it that, mm. but mm, 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 mm. they're all going to Bangkok oh together. Oh yeah, together. Right, right, right. <laughs> Three girls, five girls, yes, seven girls. Yes, yes. And why are they going? Uh-huh. Get away from Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. Pay for a really nice hotel. Yeah. Get a massage. Uh, yeah. Go shopping. I earn this money. I can spend it any way I want. Yes, yes. And then the girls, mm. the <laughs> women, mm. enjoy talking the girl talk. Yeah. How is your job? How will mm. you get ahead? Mm. How do you deal with that boss? Mm-hmm. How do you deal with this <laughs> boss? How can you get... And there's a lot of information transferring yeah. on the workplace mm-hmm. because what these work clusters have in common mm. is this is a work family. Yeah. They mm. might not all be working for the same company, mm-hmm. but they know each other because they all took yeah, a course yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Right. They all did a management training <laughs> together. They did something. We're going to Bangkok. Yeah. And the question then comes... <laughs> 
you know, three months from now, mm. we should really go to Korea. <laughs> Because it's going to be beautiful in the autumn, yeah. and you can buy such nice leather yes, goods. Yes. It's not that they're all going to buy, mm. but they're going to be with the work family. Mm, mm. Now, <laughs> in the 70s, yeah. there were not, no there must have been some women, mm. but very few. Oh, very few. Most women in the 70s, and we're only going back, what, 30, 40 years, two generations, mm -hmm. Their work family mm. were the neighbors mm. and the teenagers. Mm. So human beings have this need mm. to be gregarious, uh -huh, uh -huh. to be part of a group. Mm. But we're also, in this day and age, forming new kinds uh, of families. Yes, yes. Yeah, when you said that, exactly all my girlfriends are doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> the weather is so good. You know, they group together. They go to Los Angeles to uh, go to the those warehouse mm -hmm. outlet, and then the uh, another group go to Japan for the flowers. Another group go to Korea for the shopping. Right, and and all of them just they some of them are married. They just leave the child and the mother and the father. Exactly. Or some of th if they are single, they will just go. Yeah, they just join the group, group of seven, group of five, group of four. Well, yeah. And go. Mm. Now, another kind of group that's forming are mm. what we might call spiritual development groups. Mm. Because mm. women feel, mm. in their 40s, they feel something is lacking. Mm. They're not the same as their mothers and their aunties. Mm. They're not married, mm. so where is their family? Mm. So we have an increase in the number of retreats. Mm, 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 mm. And it can <laughs> be yeah. um, a weekend in the countryside yeah. or a weekend near Bangkok or yeah. near Kaya. Bhutan. Bhutan. <laughs> um, mm. And in this, you're going to spend a certain amount of time alone. Well, yeah. anybody who's been working for 17 hours a day, <laughs> Time alone seems like a good, good thing. Idea. Mm -hmm. Get in touch with yourself. Have yeah. meaningful discussions. Look at the beautiful sunsets. Mm -hmm. And they feel refreshed. Mm. And then they, they begin to wonder, well, is this my family? Mm. This is more my tribe. I mm. hear this my word. tribe. <laughs> I hear this word a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with my tribe. These mm. are my people. Mm. And many of our Hong Kong girls, mm -hmm. our Hong Kong women are also quite happy to go back to their own family for Chinese New Year yeah, yeah, yeah. or Yum Cha on the weekends, uh -huh. but not every weekend. They're mm. with their tribe. Mm. Mm. And there's this thing about, I made this money. <laughs> I want to spend it my way. Yeah, yeah. I want to spend <laughs> it my way. Yeah. Questions come, do you mm. give money to your mother? Mm. Do you give money to your parents? Mm -hmm. Many are, mm. many are. Mm. But some, mm. not so much anymore. Mm. 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 Not so much. The they way they use it on themselves. Yes. Rachel, this you, you brought up a very interesting thing. In the past, even the women, when they, when they, when they went to work, they, ha they, they make extra money. So in order to make the family have more money to spend on, right? But now women, when they work, they make a lot of money. They just spend it on themselves. So they feel less guilty. They can buy their beautiful handbag, go to their lovely holiday, go to the spa, go to the yoga thing. So, yeah, it's it's like uh, the the working woman now just because of that extra income, they enjoy more freedom. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about in yeah. the next section. Mm. Does the freedom bring you happiness? Mm. Yeah. <laughs>